In the very beginning, God's love bubbled over when there was nothing else. No trees, no birds, no animals, no sky, no sea, only darkness. Out of this love, God spoke. Let there be light. And there was a day, and there was a night. And when the first day was done, God smiled and knew that it was good. On the second day, God said, Let there be sky where the clouds can float and the wind can blow. And the sky was bright, blue and beautiful. On the third day, God said, Let the waters gather together into oceans and let the dry land appear. Now God decided to make the world even more dazzling with tall trees and long grass. And then the first flower opened in all its glory. On the fourth day, God said, let the sky be filled with the sun and the moon. And God scattered stars across the sky like sparkling diamonds. On the fifth day, God said, let there be birds to fly and sing and fish to swim and splash. And the world was filled with the joyous sound of birdsong. On the sixth day, God said, let there be animals, elephants and giraffes, cats and mice, and bees and bugs. And suddenly the world was a very noisy place. something was still missing. Then God said, I will make people and I will make them like me so they can enjoy the earth and take care of it. He did just as he had said and it was all so good, very, very good. God looked at everything he had made and clapped his hands together in the light. Isn't it wonderful? And on the seventh day, God laughed and rested and enjoyed his glorious creation.
you are loved.